bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Uh, it's me, Emma Kennedy. Uh, licensed to brick. Licensed to brick. If you want one of these, of course, become a goose. Uh, right then, this was lovely yesterday, wasn't it? I very much enjoyed it. Oh no, Toots is on her back. Uh, good. Little so please. Uh, right now, I'm going to come in because I think we're doing some nice little detail-y things, which is rather lovely. Gary Blair. Uh, oh, before we start, Eric Oswald, I have not forgotten about your brilliant jingle. I am merely waiting for a sunny day. Uh, ditto wild renaissance i was i had been planning to do your picture today but it's so gray and rainy that i think i'll wait till tomorrow i hope you don't mind but anyway it's definitely coming this week i promise you on the elb sack which is of course uh open to all the gooses all the gooses get elb sack it's what this is if you're wondering what why is that little why is that little picture in everyone's uh membership pack well i'll I'll tell you it it's uh, it's your voucher uh it's your access uh to Elbsack him a little bit shit art club in which I will draw your portrait or paint it um or someone else's but you, you can ask for whatever picture you want to be done on the Elbsack. anyway well, it's wild Renaissance's turn this week She's been waiting for ages. But it's coming. It's coming. Now, uh, Gary Blair. I have a limerick for Ickle Sue. Oh, yes. I'm slightly, I'm slightly bracing myself for this. Uh, gifted to us by Christopher's old English literature teacher. teacher. We, we never got to the bottom of who Christopher is. It's never been revealed to us, but I'm not sure. It may be several tads too rude. Oh, you do surprise me. It begins, a prostitute from the Azores. Shall I continue? Absolutely not. And uh, goodness sake. For goodness sake. Oh, look, scissors. That'll please little Sue. She loves a pair of scissors. Oh, and this'll this'll please Jackie Swan. Oh, hello. Presented without comment. Look at this. This is rather good, isn't it? Um uh, Kifford Albert, shock revelation in this video. The Dame Dan French has tons of disembodied heads, probably in her freezer. I don't know how many times this has to be said to you, Kifford. It's not a disembodied head. It's a BAFTA. It's a BAFTA. A BAFTA. A BAFTA. Do 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 do. Hmm. Now what's this here? What do we think that that is? What do we think this is? Uh, Gary Blair, these films that Giles Blackwell is in, do you have links? Um, oh, you see, I knew, I knew that Giles would 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 cause a stir. I mean, will you look at him? Hey, um, hi, it's me, Giles. <laughs> gee whiz, gee whiz, <laughs> quick, whoo. He's a swit swoo and no mistake, that Giles. <laughs> Blaze, la la la, la la la. Blaze, Blaze, Blaze was, was facing the other way yesterday. What's going on? I'm not joking. I haven't touched her since yesterday and she's moved. Now, that's either the haunted table or Georgie Gobon has been in here, touching Blaze. Charlie Chops, get on the case. That's very disturbing. 
very disturbing. Um, no, rain, Cullen. It says, well, that frog must be sick. He does look a little green around the gills. That's a boing. I know, I know frogs don't have gills, but slightly funny. <sighs> Eric Oswald, I am loving that desk, especially the super gulp sized copper. Super big gulp sized copper. Now, hang on a minute. Do you mean, do you mean the Afawak mug? Do you mean the Afawak mug? Which you can purchase from uh, demarcation site. By the way, uh, there were some people who said, oh, she doesn't, um, she doesn't ship to where I am. Now, there was a problem with her website. Uh, so try again if you've had that message. You have to sort of clear your, your, your cookies or something. Anyway, but also get in contact with her because uh, she will send it out. She's lovely. She's called Kathy. Um, but you can find her on Twitter. She's Demarcation Design on Twitter. And if uh, you, you're you having problems and you want to order something, she'll help you out. She's fabulous. And also, you know, she's a small little British business and she gets a percentage of everything that's sold there. So, you know, you're supporting someone. Supporting two people. Um... Turning out to be fabulous. Where's that going? Oh, it's going on here. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Look. Look at that. I'm intrigued as to what this is. But that's lovely, isn't it? I'm giving that a round of applause. That's super. Right, what are you making now? Making something else that's lovely. Uh, Noreen Cullen. Oh, face. Sorry, I did laugh out loud. Paula looks like my sister. Hello, it's me, Paula Bradshaw. I hope you're all very well. Thank you, Paula. Oh, she's so calming. She's so calming. I love her. I love Paula Bradshaw. Um, hang on a minute, please. Faye, I, I'm, I'm, I know that, uh, I, I know that you, you might not be particularly. Uh, filled with joy at the prospect that you you look like Alvin Stardust. You must be out of your tiny mi sorry. You must be out of your tiny minds. Coo, a coo, a coo, could you? Did it? But I mean, we're mostly like we we're mostly all about the uh, Green Cross Code advert anyway. But I I think you're tremendous, Faye. <clears throat> I was saying yesterday to Pink Lady that every time I came, I was I had to come into the Lego shed a couple of times yesterday, and every time I did, I saw little Faye on the desk, and I went, "You must be out of your tiny mind." Can't stop saying it. If you haven't seen that advert uh, with Elvin Stardust from the seventies doing uh, the Green Cross Crowd, I I cannot urge you enough to go and uh, find it. And watch it. It's quite something. Um, little Sue. Um, sorry, Eric Oswald. Um, did little Sue say the B word? Yes, she did. She's turned into a bit of a potty mouth. No, I haven't. Well, you have actually, little Sue. You're a little bit out of control. Yeah, well, I'll get that toots. I'll get that toots and her little dog too. She hasn't got a little dog. What on earth has got into you? Just, just because someone else has got a, is a little bit cute and has got short legs, you know, there's room for everyone here, little Sue. Yo, oh, look, get that bitch. Be quiet. We haven't got to you yet. Goodness sake. Honest, Eric, don't encourage her, please. Please. Uh, no, rain column. Oh, I totally agree with little Sue. But then we are neighbours have to keep the peace. You know what she's like. Hello, Giles, says Noreen. Yeah, hello, Giles. No, sorry. Hello, Giles. It's more of that sort of a hello, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody's loving Giles. Look, look at him. Look at him. <sighs> uh, Gillian. 
We thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Jenny and B. Uh, she says, so what's so woozies to the new minifigs, eh? Everyone's loving them. Everyone's loving them. Hang on, hang on. Wait. Hang on a minute. Let me just see where this is happening, please. What? I've got no special awareness whatsoever. I think it's there. There we are. Look, it's a little thing for the waiting. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't this a lovely set? Absolutely adoring it. Um, okay, come back down here, please. Thanks. I do believe that was the end of the googly eyes. Now I have to get up Twitter business. Oh, do you need me? Just wait a minute, please, little Sue. For goodness sake. I mean, I could sing a dirty song. If that... just shush. I don't want you singing dirty songs. It's not appropriate. Thank you. Anyway, I've got it up and running now. Uh, Ruth Hayes, by the way, um, Alexa did indeed play Barrowman. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Alexa plays Xanadu by Olivia Newton-John and the ELO. Tell me if that happens. Maybe we could have a, a suggestion uh, for Alexa to play every every um, every day. Put them in. Also, you know, don't forget we've still got little Sue recites. You can put your requests in for that too. Um, Eric Oswald says uh, Alexa said she couldn't find it for me. Uh, Ruth Hazer, she's mystifyingly dim sometimes, isn't she? Uh, then Bevis, Bevis must uh, the sensei of strawberry. There was the the, mo the the mutterer, the moaning mini, the lego whisperer. Uh, he just says, squeaky barman. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're back to this again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Eric Oswald uh, says, uh, it's the Pixar lamp. Oh, oh, yeah, look, this, this. Yes, it is sort of like the Pixar lamp. Oh, I love that. I love Pixar. love to go and work for Pixar. I'd love to work for Ardman too. Oh, give an arm and a leg. Um, Eric Oswald. Well, duh, he says. Well, duh. I just put together that the reason for the poor on the ground floor doorknob is that's the entrance to the vet's office. And I love the bunny. Mm. Ah, now, uh, Eric, you were the one, weren't you, yesterday, who was saying that you hadn't seen... Um, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's right up against... OK. You, you hadn't seen any of the Lego movies. Look at this. This is just lovely. It's lovely. Um, OK, let's bring that in here, because we're doing other things now. Uh you hadn't seen Lego movies, and Bevis is saying, for anyone who hasn't seen any of the Lego films, they're all good. But the Lego uh, movie is better than the Lego Batman movie, is better than Lego Movie 2, uh, is better than the Lego Ninjago movie. I might have got that the wrong way round. I probably have. Uh, then Bevis Musson complains, I ne never had a birthday minifig, or Duda, brick separator. The halftime show is lovely, but I feel left out now. I have a whole box of doodas, breakfast apparatus, so I probably don't really need one. Hmm. Well, yeah. Hmm. I don't really know why you haven't got a, a minifig. Um, I mean, you're very welcome to have one. I think we had a small discussion about this yesterday, didn't we? But I, I said, I, I do believe, I said, oh, will you look at this now? I can't imagine there's a minifig that I've got that you haven't got, Bevis. But you're very welcome to one. 
When is your birthday, anyway? I've, I've forgotten already. I, I can't say this enough. You do have to remind me when it's your birthday. Um, just bear in mind that I, I, I have to remember an awful lot of things. And I don't think it's unreasonable to, to say to you that uh, remembering your birthdays on my own uh, is is something I could pr I can probably sustain. So uh, do feel free to nudge me, uh, you know, the week before, week before it's your birthday, and then we'll see what we can do. All gooses, all oh, the gooses that you get a minifig in a doodle. <clears throat> Random minifig, by the way just to keep the dream alive. I suppose if you are or if you are if you are a, a, a super goose or a big goose or a, a golden goose and you've got your minifig on the table um, then you do have the right to ask for your minifig but you might want to keep it here. It's up to you, entirely up to you. Now what's going on here? This is going on here. Uh, oh, Bevis Mawson uh, now would like to tell us a joke. Oh, okay then, Let, let's uh, do, and uh, without further ado, Bevis Mawson tells us a joke. Why do elephants have big ears? Because Noddy wouldn't pay the ransom. Oh, Bevis. That that's a proper that's a proper boing. Uh Bevis Musson, you know what? I'm not a fan, he says. I'm not a fan of the baby squip brown bricks. As a trim colour it's fine. As a full wall colour it's a bit well baby squip brown. Mm, I I'm I don't hate it as much as, as some of you do. I much prefer it to um the the normal brown. Uh, which I really, which the 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 destin destin is bounty, destin is bounty, destin is destin is destin is bounty. That brown um, is as bad as grey, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I'm going to put that there because otherwise it's 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 impeding the flow of it's it's in, it would if it was further out than that that would be impeding the feng shui of uh, this area. Uh, Tanya now addressed it to said, uh, I was over it pretty quickly when I built it too. I'm presuming you were referring to uh, the colour of this wall. I really don't mind it. A job here says, I really like dark orange. I think it's a nice colour for a building exterior, but I would put an interior wall of another colour. Hmm. By the way, John Parry is doing very well on Lego Ideas. FYI, if you haven't gone and supported his um, his his pub, his pub build, go and do it. If he gets to ten thousand, it'll be very ex. Can you imagine if John Parry uh, gets his gets his pub and, and it goes forward to? Um, to you know assessment and then can you imagine if it becomes an official kit can you even imagine the excitement i tell you what though john parry if if that doesn't happen you should um you should get in touch with the those uh, the, the the brick people in in china who 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 make the kits that don't get made into lego kits I wish I knew what their name was. What's the name of the website? It's something like U Woob, U Y O U W O O B. I think, I think that's what they're called. Uh, don't have a go at me about this because Mr. Graham Triggs um, told me about them. So when Mr. Graham Triggs tells you about them, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, I've done something very badly wrong here. Just con hang on, Emma. Just con just concentrate for a second, please. Please don't get this wrong, please. Ooh, a bit gappy, isn't it? Right, I think I've got it right now. She said, 
let me just let me just have a look at this please it's a bit winky wonky and I'm not loving the winky wonkiness of it okay yep so one one yes that two yes that that yeah okay thank you thank you thank you I'm presuming these go this way yes um Ooh, something nice about to happen. Uh, what renaissance? You know you could get YouTube business up in the same way you do Twitter business. That's avoiding the read more scenario. Well, didn't I try that once and it didn't work? It, I, it didn't work. That was, that was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know I'm hopeless at technology. But I seem to recall I did give it a go and, and it was hopeless. Um, I mean, I'm more than happy to have another go, but gee, 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 gee willikers. It didn't work last time. Professor Lager, and now for yesterday's poll today, instead of when it should have happened, which was the day after two days ago. How often should we have live and breaking it? If voting for option 4, please leave comments for the future part. In 4th place with 0% is something not listed. In 3rd place with 4% is push streaming off YouTube. In 2nd place with... In, sorry, yes, in 2nd place. With 8% it's 3 to 4 times a year. But with 88%, the Avawax have spoken. They want live and bricking. Once a month. Okay then, you have spoken. I think, why don't we say it's the first Saturday in every month. How's that? How's that? Unless we're, I'm on holiday or something. Or unless, or, or unless there's some reason why it can't be. But let's say it's every first Saturday of every month, 8 o'clock. How's that? Then we all know. Then we all know what we're doing, don't we? Uh, right. Hang on. And oh, yeah. I should yes. And don't forget the 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 next giveaway is going to be the Boba Fett helmet. Um. So that's exciting. We'll we'll build. I will build it before we give it away, of course. And then you will see the loveliness of it. So I think it's important everyone gets to see what the uh, what the kit is, gets to experience the kit, and then someone will get the kit. I think that's the best way of doing things. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I do not believe we have ever had this in this colour, so I'm giving it a... We've had these, of course, but not in this colour. It's a lovely colour. What would you call that colour? I mean, it's blue. Yes, I know that. I know it's blue. A dusty blue. A lavender blue. What would you call that? Um, oh, I tell you what, though. I don't think I've ever had that piece before. No. Wrong one. Wrong noise. No, wrong noise. Thank you. I don't think we've ever had that one. Slightly, they, they look like really cool specs. I slightly wish I could put them on as cool specs, but that would be silly, wouldn't it? Stan's mum, refrogger. Red heat lamps. Ah, uh, yes, this. Uh, red heat lamps emit infrared heat waves that provide much needed warmth to the frog. But because the light is infrared, the sleeping waking patterns will not be affected. I'm not entirely sure I've got that in nicely. No, I haven't. Now I have. Have I? Have I got that in nicely? Yes, I have now. Let's just put that over there. Um, MB, uh, says Stan's mum. They don't have posh name. They're just heat lamps. Uh, then she says, thanks. Thank you for my minifig with its rather fetching Giles Brandreth-esque jumper, very snazzy, 
Stan laying on his side on a roof is fairly common occurrence, so he will be fine. Yeah, super. Um, yes, I know where you're going with this, Wild Renaissance, at roughly, at roughly 36 minutes in. Emma, oh, by the way, Wild Renaissance, I do but cue some minor panic over a brick. Emma, back to club business. What are you going to say? I can't bear this suspense. It was, of course, about Elbsack. Um, I, I actually was planning to do it yesterday. Um, and then I had to do, uh, um, I actually had to do some proper work on a, on that thing that I'm not allowed to tell you what it is. Do, 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 be, do, do, be, do, 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 be, do, I'll say no more. Um, anywho, um, I, I got caught up in that in the afternoon so I didn't get to do it and today it's all rainy uh, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow I think the weather is improving tomorrow but your your portrait is going to be painted this week this week come hell or high water uh, wild renaissance it's happening it's happening so there will be an elb sack up for the gooses uh, this week, and I think I'll, I'll make the uh, the Kitford one uh, public as well this week, so everyone can so everyone can watch it. So that's something to look forward to. Grumpy Mark, I see none of the new mini figures uh, wearing their wife runs slash knickers without trousers or a skirt, just me then. Yeah, you, you love it, Grumpy Mark. The penskin currently consists of only myself. I am looking to recruit others, but there will be a strict dress code. Pants, knickers, briefs, trunks, thongs, or white fronts only. Only kind of overgarment will not be permitted. Neither will no pants at all. Hashtag Pants gang. Hmm. Wow. Oh, oh Lord. Um, li little Sue, j just, just sort of. Um, I think maybe. No, what's going on here? What's that? That's not attached to anything, and I and I I I, I don't feel happy about that. It's not attached to anything. It's very slippy, slidey. Um, little Sue, brace yourself, uh, because Toots is going in. Absolutely, hater. Sh just shush. Uh, and Toots is actually standing on the furniture, staring at a fish. I told you, there's an absolute... Just be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, thank you. Um, Pink Lady, uh, I'm in a tutu, so I might as well be in my pants. Does that count? Yes, I guess it does. To be honest, the tutu is just a fancy belt. You're in. Hashtag pants gang. At the moment, all we do is hang around at the corner garage looking weirdly threatening. Hmm. 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 Grumpy Mark has, has reposted. My magnificent. I mean, I think I think of all of them. That's my favourite one I've done. Actually, I think it captures him entirely. Don't you? It's uncanny. So looking forward to doing Grumpy Mark on Elbsack. I can't tell you. Um, I've got to wait for that. There's a long queue. There is a long queue. Um, right. Here we go. Ooh, this is these this this is a little tricky to get in, you know. No. No. Hmm. Now I can't get it out in order to Oh, there we are. Right. Joe Perry, uh, how come the VAR hasn't been on the pedestal yet? Well, mm, that's a very good question, but of course, um, I suppose it's modesty because only the, I mean, really, it's down to the VAR who goes in the blowhole and who goes on the pedestal. 
um, he's the one who makes adjudications. And of course, he's a, he's a very uh, humble man. So I can't imagine that, that he would put himself on the uh, pedestal, but maybe there should be a people's, a people's vote uh, as to whether Mr. The Var, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the official referee of Relax With Lego, should go on the pedestal. I'm, I, I know I'm not supposed to um, uh, influence uh, these things, these matters, but I, I would be very much for that. I think, I think Mr. Graham Triggs has deserved to go on the pedestal, to be honest. We could also have a thing where if it's your birthday, you go on the pedestal. Uh, just saying, putting that out there, putting out there. Uh, Professor Lego, of course, uh, points out, we all know he's on the pedestal in your hearts. It's a matter of respect. Yes, correct, correct. Uh, Rosie Lee says um, hello to... What? Hang on. I've, oh, no, my, spatial, my, my famous spatial awareness is, is kicking in here. I think that needs to be up the other way. Otherwise, we're never going to get that to fit in. Not in a million years will that fit in. Right, OK. So, look, look, this, this is upsetting me. This, this is upsetting me. I mean, we know it'll be fixed at some point. Rosalie says, hello to all the new Affleck minifigures. How the gang is growing. Enjoyed all the lovely detail in Vet's office, hoping the frog is okay and will not end up as Terry's lunch, roasted frog's legs in garlic butter. <laughs> oh, Lord above. Lord actually above. Um, where are we up to? Here we go. Oh, Tim Goff. Oh, Tim, Tim Goff, hi. Uh, Emma, you, you got my voice spot on. Uh, it was like listening to me talking to myself, which is a frequent occurrence around these parts. Hmm. I mean, I've got no idea whether that actually was your voice. But, you know, there we are. Oh, look, Grumpy Mark's got it. Uh, I'd be very surprised if Emma uses the voice next time you speak. I doubt Emma can even remember now what it sounds like without listening to the video again. I'm just guessing. Kitford says, what kind of vet is this? Oh no, Kitford, no, no, Kitford. Oh, here she comes. Little Sue, and she's called Little Sue. She's little, and she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scrub down, scrub down. It's Jackie Swan. Every blinking time. She just love the new minifigs and Affelwax, but there is a heck of a crowd gathering on and around the Affelwax Alcatraz. Uh, not much social distancing going on there. Mm, yes, I know, I see what you mean. It is, it's, 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 it's a veritable crowd, look. Look, a veritable crowd. Um, Kitford in another place, uh, the DM group. Yes, I know, there is a DM group. There's a DM group. Can you even believe it? Um, he suggested I, I build some bleachers which actually is not necessarily a bad idea. I might give this some serious thought. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Uh, just pretend all the minifigs live in New Zealand, where they don't have to worry about that sort of thing now. Yes, OK. Beth Breton, might be a stupid question, but why don't you put a plate on the top of the pedestal uh, so all the golden gooses can be up there at the same time. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hang on. Should we have a round one? Yeah. Why not? Let's have a round one. Let's. Um... Oh, should we do it in green? That's fun. That's fun. Makes it even more special. Okay. Come on. Uh, come on, Paula Bradshaw. Hello. Uh, I'm very much a calming influence. Yes, you are. I'm so glad you've come to join us. Sorry, I've just thrown you on your on your back. No, it, it's absolutely fine. Oh, she's adorable, isn't she? She's absolutely adorable. Well, will you look at this, please? Right. Yes, thank you. Bradshaw, where are you, Joanne Price? Where's Joanne Price gone? Come on. Oh, no. Just pinged something out of Angie Wood's hand. 
Thank you. You've, 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 you've tossed my x-ray out of my hand and by the way, I don't do what you said I did yesterday but we'll get to that. So, sorry Angie Wood. Sorry Angie Wood, sorry. Sorry, and I tell you what, look, look, why don't we? Well, come on, come on Trigsy, up you go. How's that? <coughs> no, you can't go on the pedestal, no. Don't even have to show you how. Um, someone says, I was thinking exactly the same, uh, but without considering the need for a base, which tells you everything you need to know about my planning skills. Well, there we go. I mean, look, will you please look? The, ped the pedestal is, is a joy to behold now, is it not? Um, Faye. <laughs> she says, oh, Lord, I appear to look like a badass. Well, hang on. We, we, you, maybe you need to speak like Elvin Stardust. You must be out of your tiny mind. Um, sounds a bit like John Perry. Need to work on that. Uh, little Sue says, there's nothing wrong with looking like a badass fae. Little Sue, stop making out like you're a troublemaker, okay? We, we all know this is, this is just putting it on. You're not a troublemaker. You're a very sweet and lovely individual. And trying to pretend that you're a little bit naughty and a little bit in with the cool kids is not going to fool anyone. Yeah, go. Excuse me? What on earth? What on earth? Little Sue. Little Sue. Love yourself. What? what? Little, little Sue. Uh, Kath Pearson, sweet salute to all the new minifigs, I know, they're, they're, they're tremendous. Ruth Hayes, amazing tile for uh, Jackie Swan, though I'm not sure as she would have much use for orthopaedic instruments, calipers, bone hook, bone cutters and rake retractor. Sorry, I'm a theatre nurse, remember. Besides, none of them require batteries. <coughs> That's a boing. That's a boing if ever I heard a boing. Oh, I've just realised I had to do two of those. Hmm. That's a worry. That's a worry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I, I don't seem to have a piece that I need. Oh no. I hope I've got the colour in author's own. Well, you know what that means. That means I've I've put something wrong somewhere. I haven't got the colour. Oh no! But look, I've got this, which clearly I've put somewhere. Oh no! Right, hang on, please. Yes, hello again. I bet you're glad that uh, you were uh, spared that. Anyway, I fixed it. Um. Uh, Tell you now, says, I remember the big tongs to pick up the heavy, crunchy used swabs. Oh, this, this sounds rank. And hanging them uh, for counting on the grisliest drying rack ever. Uh, 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 Tanya, Ruth Hayes says, I thought I was the only person on the planet to remember this. Luckily, we stopped it during the 80s. And Tony now says, I was on my three month theatre rotation in 1984, I suppose, and went from delicate plastics to orthopaedics. Wow, those swabs were huge. At <laughs> I don't know how you do it, girls. Seriously, nothing but respect. Voila. Voila. Basically, I'd, I'd erroneously got this wrong. But I worked it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, super. We're going to do some uh, windows in a minute. Uh, Angie Wood. I'm loving my new minifigure. Thank you. I'm a business analyst, not a medical admin. 
this is a gentle nudge just requested to remind you it's my birthday next Tuesday and would absolutely love a minifigure and doodad. Brick separator. Uh, come in your way, Angie Woods. Come in your way. Um... Yes, I actually think I've already put it in in with your membership pack, hmm. which is going in the post today. Uh, when you open it, do tell me. Uh, but I'm, there were th there were three that also got uh, also getting a, a doodah and a minifig. It, to be honest, it's been quite hard keeping on top of it, uh, but I think I've pretty much got all of them done now, bar three, uh, because I haven't got your addresses. So if you are, are a goose and you have not and you still haven't sent me your address i will have nagged you you will have had a message from me saying can i have your address please uh if you haven't given it to me you need to give it to me um because i don't know where you live just fyi um annie miller uh la oh sorry uh, jackie swan by the way says thank you for my splendid tile and yes i do love instruments uh, Annie Miller says love the minifigs I think the frog is okay it just jumped into the incubator if that's what it is for the warmth it looks like there's room to jump out again I'm more concerned for the fate of Simon Rabbit well yeah we all are because we know what rabbits are like they, they can drop dead at a moment's notice they're very flighty creatures rabbits They can be fine one second, the next minute they're just dead. Um, Annie Miller says, earlier I reached a particularly finickety bit of sock I'm knitting and let out a what? What? Before exclaiming, I fixed it, I fixed it and singing the thank you for coming to my panic song. <laughs> Daughter said sarcastically, someone's been watching Lego again, I see. Charlie Charms, she fights crime. She fights crime with her face hair. But not exclusively so, they very much work as a team. Hair and face, hair and woman, together fighting crime all the time. Charlie Chops. Love Polar's mini fig top. I hope you appreciate Charlie Chops, the effort I am constantly putting in <laughs> to singing the Charlie Chops song. You never know what you're going to get on any given day. That's an absolute given. Uh, Ruth Hayes, the thing the frog is on looks remarkably like a resuscitaire. A resuscitaire. Hmm. These are in every delivery room and op theatres during C-sections to receive newborns should they require intervention from routine minor stuff to full-on resuscitation after delivery. I think the frog is safe. Oh, thank you, Ruth Hayes. Thank you for that. Um, uh, Alan Harwood. Alan Harwood. Alan Harwood. Uh, Frogamore. Licensed to brick. I, I sort of want to give you a northern accent, Alan Harwood. I'm not sure why. I can't give you a northern accent, though, because uh, Gary Blair has a northern accent, and that's pretty much the only northern accent I can do, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, Alan Harwood, if you can think of a, a suggestion for a voice for yourself, then then please crack on and suggest it. I feel like you need one, uh, because I, I feel like you're going to be a proper good boinger. Uh, Frogamore, license to brick. Um, that concludes club business. Okay, let's get this done. You will have noticed, of course, there's no half-time show today. Look, I'm all, I mean, I don't know where I'm up to. I think I've been going about 40 minutes as it is, for goodness sake. Right, let's just settle down and get this bag finished, shall we? Oh, this is good. Oh, something really good's coming up. Love doing windows. Look at this. Oh, Mr. Jones, animal care. No snakes. That's very good. That's 
very good and it's going in this way right It's interesting that they're different colours. Where's that sticking on? Right there. Hmm. How lovely. This isn't this isn't easy. Hang on a minute. I feel like there might be something badly wrong going on here. You don't say Emma. Maybe not. But that's how I don't like this at all. Ah, I see. So it's. Oh, I wonder if that. No. No, it can't. No, it's it's here. Right. If I put on too many, that no. Oh, I've not got a good feeling about this. Hang on. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. I, d I didn't. I didn't want to subject you to that horror. So guess what? I didn't. Right. Now then. That's going there.
Charles, John Perry. I can't believe Toots is standing on that chair. Now look at an eye. the round one there. That was so nice. I love these as well. Mmm, -hmm. delicious. Delicious. Oh, we're going on. We're going on, gang. Right then. Oh no. Tell you what, maybe we won't go on because I've clearly missed something somewhere. Um, I've missed something somewhere. I'll have to have a look. Uh, so let me fix that in my own time. But uh, there it is. That's the end of bag four and absolutely delightful. I'm also enjoying very much No Snakes at uh, Terry Jones's. Terry Jones! Uh, animal Care, God bless Terry Jones. Um, loved that level. But I'll see you tomorrow for bag five.